docu commentary. It's 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 us again. Uh, about to have a fun episode of docu commentary. Uh, I'm your host Travis Nelson, and uh, on the futon is the other ho- host Chase Myers. There he is. Hey. Yeah, and uh, this is a podcast of sorts. It's a very lazy podcast. We make you guys do most of the work, but uh, I feel like you could use you know a little extra. Well, extra stuff to do. Maybe you've, uh, you know, I'm not getting into that. Uh, so what this is is we pick a documentary and then we watch it and commentate on it, uh, and then you can watch the same documentary while playing our commentary. And it's like uh, we're there hanging out with you, and we can be friends and maybe uh, make some popcorn. Maybe we could do that. That'd yeah. be nice, right? So this episode, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Chase has no idea what to do with that. <laughs> That'd be nice. We just eat some popcorn. <laughs> just have some. No, it's just funny. Before we started, you were like, dude, I'm, I'm, this one's going to be weird, this intro. And I was like, wait, I need to get there. And you just kind of, <laughs> you just kind of being nice. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, when I said it was going to be weird, I was just, uh, yeah. Well, now I feel like I can't get that weird. <laughs> now I feel like we put a barrier up. Um yeah, so um, you're going to hear a lot of extra like noise, like uh, background noise this episode because all of our windows are open because it is so hot yeah. in Seattle right now. And there's no, it's, it's no brutal. one has air conditioning, dude. No, we don't have air conditioning and neither of us, I mean, yeah, we weren't going to buy an air conditioner. Nah, I mean, we're just going <laughs> to tough it out. <laughs> we're just, we're like just going to dip shit through this. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just, just, just open up everything. Just a couple of dopes sitting in a hot apartment. <laughs> like, eh, listen, can't Let nothing. everyone hear us. Yep. I uh, can't do anything about that. I feel bad for the people that live on like the bottom floors. Like whenever they have everything open, like when I walk to my car, like I feel like I'm just like walking through their living room. Like, yeah, the way they have just like everything. Open. Yeah. Although I did notice that they all have air conditioners, like the first floor for some reason. Hmm. Seems like everybody is. Uh, maybe they've been there longer. So uh, you guys are probably piecing together that Jason and I don't live uh, in a great apartment complex. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like not <laughs> a lot of places have air conditioning here, though, right? We're what more closed-minded people would call poor. <laughs> 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 I like to think about it as being uh, financially nimble. I'm not weighed down by any kind of... Nah, I got nothing weighing me down. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about... No you know, coins weighing me down. Well, no bills know, weighing me down. <laughs> yeah, I don't got to worry about, you know, mow my house, collapse into... Uh, no, not me. I, y'all, I'm... In and out, man. Cash only. I, I can walk out of here tomorrow. <laughs> 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 and what's really going to happen to me? Yeah, man. I can walk into a farmer's market, buy a turnip straight cash. Never knew it happened. <laughs> I am all over the place financially. It's only your business. <laughs> uh, so you got up, man. We got to kind of have like a more of a laid back week. But next week, we're at uh, Central Washington University on Monday. Yeah. 16th. Yeah, dude, I'm excited about that. I got that, and then that weekend I'm going to be at Joker's Comedy Club in Richland uh, featuring, what's that, July 19th through 21st. Oh, that'll uh, be great. Yeah. See, I'm uh, I'm in Spokane on the 21st at the Ben Crosby Theater uh, opening for Wendy Liebman. Yup. Yup. And then, uh, God, I can't remember uh, the exact order of the shows. I think that Sunday night I'm going to be in Spokane. Um and I'll be performing uh, at the Riddler Piano Bar in Spokane, Sunday the 22nd. The 23rd, on that Monday, I'll be performing in, at Etsy Bravo in Pullman, Washington. Um, and then Shooters in Lewiston, Idaho on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to be headlining Payette Brewing in Boise. And then... Um, the 27th and the 28th, I'm headlining Nugget Casino in Carson City, Nevada. So, um, yeah, those that'll be a pretty killer run of shows. Yeah, it's fun. That's fun run. I'm going to get to stretch my hour out. I haven't got to do a lot of hours, and I feel like nice. uh, I'm hungry for one. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I need it. I'm going to be doing, like, uh, 30s all week. Uh, so I'm doing a 30 of that show we got at, at Central Washington. Doing a 30 the next night. I should probably put some weekends. thought into that thirty-two for yeah. Central. Oh yeah, I gotta yeah, I gotta really think of what freshmen and their parents want to hear. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I feel like we've got some new stuff that's gonna work real well. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, and plus all your college stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. It's a little tough. Don't worry about us, guys. <laughs> that college, that college joke's a little tough though for uh, people who haven't started college yet. 
<laughs> oh, I guess that's true. I got to position it differently whenever I do it there. Yeah, that's a hard one to set up with. I like, got to be like, this is what happens if you don't finish. You're all going to finish because you don't want to select some college. <laughs> this is an assembly. I am the person here to warn you about what happens. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean, we. I guess we can't sell merch anyway, but I'm like, ooh, your t-shirt would be stuff to... Actually, probably probably sell really well on a college campus. Yeah, I don't know how it would do. I bet it would do really well. Yeah. Um, all yeah, right, well, can't sell for that. I mean, you got anything else? Nah, man. What's the word, baby bird? Dude, we're going to watch the Glow documentary. Here we go. That's right, people. If you have only seen the Netflix show Glow, uh, this should be exciting for you, man, because this is the, the actual story of the real promotion. And... Uh, I'm I'm super excited right now. And if you haven't watched the Netflix show or any professional wrestling, um, hey, I haven't really either. So this will be fun for us yeah. too. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be losing my shit on a lot of this. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get this thing going. I'm ready. Cool. All right. Uh, press and play in three, two, one. And it played right away. We, we had it. We had it set up. We're getting uh, more professional. I smartened up. There's no way I'm gonna do that every time. Oh, yeah, you guys are lucky, okay? Yeah, really <laughs> this this episode's been pretty smooth. This is a clean podcast. I mean, I think it's a little bumpy to, do, to start. I think it has to do with how early we're doing it. Usually we do these things at, like, midnight. <laughs> yeah, but we just woke up early and smoked like weed all day. <laughs> this is, yeah, Man, this is a decent time. That's all this is, and uh, it makes me laugh so hard. This guy was coming at us on YouTube, and yeah. he was like, you guys are literal pieces of shit. <laughs> 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 you guys are shit. <laughs> and... Uh, it made me laugh because, like, all this is is just us getting high and watching a documentary yeah. and talking about it. And that dude, like, it ruined that dude's day. <laughs> he was so... But it was on that Barkley Marathons episode, and that one got, like, a ton of views. I didn't really expect... It's almost got, like, a thousand views, I think. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And everyone hates it. <laughs> <laughs> That's still views, baby. Okay. Beating each other with sword hilt. <laughs> Tell the hun. She wrestled forever, man. Yeah. She's already my favorite. She was uh, one of the few that actually like wrestled before doing this. Attila the hun or Matilda the hun? I think it's Tilla the hun. Tilla. Yeah. Tilla the hun. Matilda. Uh, Matilda. Yeah. yeah. That's a great name. Uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Chase is so excited. <laughs> One of these uh, wrestlers, Ivory, she's going to show up in a little bit. Uh, she went on a WWE after this. And she's like in the Hall of Fame in WWE. <laughs> I love in the 80s, it, they always, like, everybody just did these, like, rap songs of, like, gr like the Chicago Bears. I remember that. This group. I hate this motherfucker. Larry Zabisco. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. Oh, wow. Uh, <coughs> just as a as a commentator, he used to annoy me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, his, his character was always a heel, too, but, man, he fucking drove me crazy. She's awesome. Molly Holly. Yeah. Get them skits. Talk about it. Ha <laughs> 
Everybody thought this was the best idea for everything oh, yeah. from 85 to 89. I mean, do you not? <laughs> I mean, it should come back, honestly. We could do it for this podcast. <laughs> uh, before my, This is going to be my sketch before my first hour special. I'm just going to have all my comedy friends, and we're just going to do a rap before. <laughs> just a super goofy like, yeah, yeah, yeah. rap. We're going to do a Super Bowl shuffle. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> we're going to do... I'm gonna film it for Showtime. It's gonna be the <laughs> Showtime Shuffle, and uh, <laughs> uh, I got this weird idea that I'm gonna, uh, if I ever get like a money special. Mm-hmm. I want to close it by like playing a prank on this roommate I had like five years ago who like we, we lived together for like two years. Like, we don't really keep in touch at all, but like <laughs> we mess with each other a lot. And like, I just think it'd be really funny to like briefly explain to the audience like one thing about him, bring him on stage and then just like fucking. So he hates this. Uh, we should probably just pay attention to the. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where you. I mean, you could finish it. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, uh, he hates the band Fun, specifically uh, their song Some Nights. With all, like, <laughs> Yeah, you know the song. Like, Some Nights, uh, I don't know it. But uh, he hated it, and he would like, oh, turn off the radio if it came on. So I would always think it'd be funny just to like, r- randomly tell people, I'm like, oh, this is John. His favorite band is Fun, and his favorite song is this song. And like, it was just a goofy thing like I always did. But... Uh, he would get like angry about it, and uh, <laughs> I wanted to. Charles, why are you so long winded? What are you? I want to bring him on stage, <laughs> and I want. I know, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring him on stage, and then just have the band Fun come out and start playing that song, like while he's on stage. Yes. And then just play, <laughs> yes. Play fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Travis. What? <laughs> I don't know. You could have said, I want to close my social by having the band Fun play to my best friend, to my old roommate that doesn't like the band Fun. <laughs> well, it seemed more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ivory. This is uh, the one that went on to the WWE. Ah, cool. Do you still want to be an actress? Yeah. 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 Yeah, why would you tell someone that? Yeah. That's so insane to me. Yeah. <laughs> I took back bumps for five years because <laughs> because I auditioned for this thing. <laughs> My neck is really fucked up right now. <laughs> That was WWE's policy for a little while. Yeah. And then they went, you know, it doesn't even matter if you don't wrestle. And then they just had bra and panty matches. Yeah. Man, that mat looks rough. Yeah. What? Mondo Guerrero. (laughs) 
I think it's his nephew. I think that's their relationship. Okay. Is uh, Eddie Guerrero, who is huge in right. WWE. Yeah. With his mustache. Oh, dude, you better respect that mustache. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have utmost respect for that mustache. That's during prime mustache, too, man. Everybody had mustache then, and that one stood out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey. You look how I thought you might look. What the fuck, man? <laughs> he just choked somebody out. I think they did that in the show. Uh, yeah. In the series, in the glow series. Yeah, well, I mean, she was the one that was the lifer, so. <laughs> Babe, the farmer's daughter. <laughs> Still wearing that lightning necklace. Mondo, what are you doing, buddy? Dude, all he Call knows. Call me long-winded. All he knows. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean. All he knows. <laughs> feelings are hurt. Yeah, no, I, I was. That was one of the toughest things. I was like, I know, and I don't know how not to be. <laughs> I'm caught up in it. I don't know how to it. cut this down. I'm caught up in it. <laughs> I hadn't really thought it through, so I didn't know how to make it succinct. I was just kind of getting an idea out there. All that dude knows, though, is how to fall on his back. That's what he's been doing for 50 years, is just... Hey, if you do it well. I keep thinking Nanachka is uh, going to be a uh, uh, nope, forgot the name. Natasha Leggero character. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I keep I keep expecting that to happen. Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting name. The good girls and the bad girls are going to go against each other. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Them bad girls. Man. Oh, man. Who am I supposed to cheer for? Ugh. It's weird that Mountain Fiji's like in the bad girls. Yeah. I don't understand what's bad about her. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't think she is. Oh, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, 
This is insane. I mean, I love it. That's the way, like, the wrestling business is. It's crazy, like. Yeah. Those dudes stay. Even, like, people on, like, WWE, like, they travel 300 days a year. Like, mm-hmm. Oof, what's up with that Facebook? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Just a sweaty man. <laughs> so you're the comedy man, huh? Oh boy. Tough rhymes. Although I see what's going on with that farmer's daughter. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> they thought that through. Yeah, she came up during a tough time. Yeah. Matilda Matilda the the Hun is such a good name. Yeah. Check her out back then, man. Yeah. Some out there wrestling bears. <laughs> it ate half my leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of that just good comedy writing. Man, he's cast pretty pretty right on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Marin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
It looks pretty big time. Yeah. Oh, and why wouldn't <laughs> why wouldn't he have that? Oh, he didn't want to explain himself. Did you write this for yourself, David? Man, that was one of the worst ever. Yeah. I really was Egypt. Yeah. I was a sphinx. Ooh, you don't mess with that voodoo. Oof. Oh, I love this. <laughs> yeah, this is right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> I love when wrestling goes that ridiculous. Well, I'm going to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> get one, buddy. I have to have a beer. Yeah, man. You want a beer? Yeah. All right. Vamp for me. I'm going to get a beer. Oh, beers. dude, I got this. No problem. <laughs> dude, coming down on a white horse, try not to cheer for me. Thank you, sir. No, there's the old ladies. They kept them exactly the same. Yeah, man. This is really cool how like close it is to the the, the show. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, this is fucking crazy. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. 
Cool, cool. Seems like a real cool guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You just had to do whatever you had to motivate him. He called him. me fat every day. He called day. me fat every he just called me fat. single day. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, get the, down here. You ever notice how her ass looks like mashed potatoes? All right. Anyways. <laughs> go go back go back to your day. Anybody you want some popcorn? I was going to make some. <laughs> Not for your fat ass, though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's bullshit. Mark Marin. <laughs> I just love that that's who Marin got cast as. Who are you? you Susie see Spirit. She's like the cheerleader, I think. Yeah. Seems to be doing well now. Doing her interviews in front of a pool. Yeah, that's a good point. Always do an interview in front of a pool. That yeah. makes you look like you own that pool. Right. But here's Big Mama. Donnie, Donnie, you gonna get your ass whipped? <laughs> That's a solid bump, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, celebrities don't take bumps. That is. I love how many of uh how many of the shows just turn their their space into a ring. Yeah. 
No, Brian Pillman. <laughs> that was uh, what the fuck? That was quick as shit. That yeah. was a uh, he was a WCW wrestler. I guess they were doing a Glow verse WCW wrestlers Family Feud or something. That's hilarious. You did it. I mean, <laughs> what? I did not remember that. She doesn't that seem like a Natasha Leggero character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does a little bit. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Why don't you just pull your tits out, ladies? I mean, ladies, can't you get paid for them titties? I yeah. mean, why are you not showing your titties? Isn't that easier than... It's insanity. <laughs> it's like, I'll show my dick to anyone who asks. <laughs> get trying to get paid for flashing people my whole life. What? Wrestle me. <laughs> <laughs> Just put me, yeah, put me in a headlock. <laughs> Are you watching when you chase these people? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You could say that to me and preface it with a, this is just a joke, but, and I would still be like, uh. Ah, a little far. Take a little far. Yeah, you probably should have earlier. <laughs> Love that dude in the trucker hat. <laughs> Just oh, there's always a dude. I am the eighties. <laughs> there's always the dude in the trucker hat during this time period for wrestling around. There he is. LSU baby, saw that. Whoa, humble brag a little. <laughs> what? Jesus. Jesus. 
<laughs> yeah, she's eating raw meat. Yeah, she did it. That's that. I mean, she made her point. I'm doing very well right now. <laughs> yeah. Have you noticed my pool? <laughs> It's wrestling. So. Yeah, kids love sexy women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, you trash. Get in there. Whoa. Whoa. A gun in? <laughs> in the ring. Oh, um, are you crucifying someone? <laughs> I love the glow. It was like this extreme blood and guts promotion. Just had no idea. Whoa. You can't. Get that paycheck. <laughs> calmness. <laughs> Get the calmness. If you're not from here, you're evil. Well, you're charismatic as hell. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work in the business. <laughs> I Is mean, it the Mount dancing. Fiji or Mountain Fiji? I think they say either, like, they go back and forth. Yeah. They call you VH1. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you VH3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. You'll go out there, talk about music. <laughs> Big bad mama. I saw every arm wrestling. They used to be a big gimmick, old school wrestling. Was, yeah. Uh, but every one of them, the bad guy would cheat, throw the table. It's Starts big fight. Come on, put me in a headlight, Fiji. <laughs> I'm an Olympic shot putter. <laughs> Wait, come. What did I ask for this? Turns out I'm a coward. <laughs> Look at me, America. Mm. 
<laughs> he's so scared. Oh, he's so scared. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's happened to her now, though? It's making me very sad. Hell yeah. Everything I've done, I'm very proud of. Because I was there for this. And there's nobody that could have done that for me more than her. Damn. Oh no. Okay. Uh Oh, Jesus. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> thank God you're fine. Who are you? <laughs> I'm so sad about Mount Fiji right now. What are you? <laughs> That's Matilda the Hun. Oh, yeah. They do show an injury in a little bit that I looked away from. Oh no! Uh, I still haven't seen it, so I don't know if it's that bad. But I just chose the the one time I watch this to not see oh, it. Oh, there's so. no way I can look at this. Yeah. Oh nope! I can't. Cannot. What's happening? I don't know, but I can't do wrestling injuries. Uh, Chase, <laughs> why you make me watch this? <laughs> you just talking about how much you can't watch this. You, this is your <laughs> this is your stuff. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't look at it the first time either. What happened? All right, so this is a knee injury. This one wasn't bad, but there's like an arm injury later that. Ugh. This one's like her knee buckled. You okay here? Yeah. But there's one that's gross. There's one that I've seen so many sports injuries, and you'd think that like I would become desensitized, but I feel like I've only become more sensitized as yeah. time goes on. No, I can't see it. Uh, 
That was scary. <laughs> yeah, man. Now I'm all freaked out because I feel like something bad's coming. There's one. There's one bad one that is coming. Did they announce it? I, I I missed it the first time, so they did. They gave enough of a heads up, and they're talking about injuries right now. So they yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Susie Spirits broken. Oh, dude, there's no way. This this stuff grosses me out. Nope, not looking at it. Oh, boy. Well, not. No, how could either of us? Uh, Documentarians, sorry, you filthy bastards, but uh, we're not. I'm not looking at you're that. You're dirtier than Chase and if I If you're are. looking at it, it's gross. Uh, oh, I saw it. I looked. Did you? I, didn't. Ah, I saw it. <laughs> ah, it was bad. It was disgusting. You never want to see a bone poke through oh. skin. You never want to see. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's not. It looks terrible. Yeah, I can't see. I mean, I know, I can imagine it. They do a good job of describing it. Oh, so. yeah, that's. Oh, I see your elbow. That was gross. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. I saw the yeah. elbow. Yeah, it wasn't fun. This hasn't been enjoyable. Okay, <laughs> the rest of the documentary is safe, if I remember. But okay, good. Yeah, you really blew your elbow out. Yeah, Jesus. Uh. Yeah, man. Yeah. I would retire at 30, I wish. 35. Oh, she meant for wrestlers. Yeah. Ugh, that's sad. I'm so glad that, like, our special hobby thing we do is the lowest impact thing I've met. Oh, yeah. My my hands are so soft. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who is Ross Schaefer? I like to see her fight the Fabulous Moolah. That would be cool. Yeah. Ultimate Warrior comes out. <laughs> I mean, that's a serious run. Yeah. Feet gave up on you, huh? Uh, Jesus. Dude, wrestlers have insane, like, just... Their bodies just beat the fuck. Yeah. She's still going to swim. Like, the fact that Ric Flair is still alive is amazing. Like, that that man is immortal. Yeah. He died last year for, like, a week. I forgot about that. Yeah. (laughs) And then he came back and cut a promo with a shirt that said, I ain't dead yet, motherfuckers. (laughs) I forgot about that. Yeah, dude, it was the most badass thing ever. I was really worried. I was, like, worried that week, man. I was bummed out. Oh, man. Yeah, it's the only way. Like, it's not like normal to do all that shit. Yeah. You, you're the only one that's. <laughs> 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 
definitely not cut out for me, I'll tell you that. I thought she was this wrestler named Molly Holly, but I don't think that's who that is now. Huh. Just for anybody that does know wrestling that heard me say that earlier. And for the rest of you, hi, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with you. I mean, she's carrying her arm, dude. Ugh. I just couldn't see how she did it. That's not, I, did, I couldn't watch that. Sometimes the bone pops out. <laughs> <laughs> Super gross. <laughs> Pretty solid. At least yeah, I, I got like that. Y'all got two a hundred. That's pretty nice. That rough. Oh, that's tough. He got divorced. Yep. Uh, that's what happens. Yeah, man. That's what guys, Russell Crowe's selling his underwear on eBay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Divorce, look at everybody. <laughs> what? Because he was. Uh, he liked to play with the girls, you see. That sucks that it ended because the guy who was funding it was a creep. Yeah. Yeah, they went about it in a weird way, too. It's not, <laughs> you know, other wrestling promotions don't start with a TV contract and then build wrestlers and everything around it, you know. Usually it's like a touring thing or like yeah, they stay in one city and just perform in that one city forever until it hits or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, for whenever this goes and it's like, well, you you know, you don't have a home base. I don't know how much, I guess you could tour those wherever it was shown, but yeah, I don't know, that probably cost more than filming a TV show. Go for it, Fuji. You're my hero. Aw. What's sweet? <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is sweet. This is a good one, Chase. Yeah. I, this is one I've had written down for maybe even since we started that I've wanted to do.
Wow. What a great lady. Well, yeah, that's how That's how your top act. star is supposed to talk. Claim it. You've always got the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Just look over your shoulder. Right? Yeah. I'm in the pool. Facebook. There you go, little Egypt. Get it together. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess that's the way they, they made the narrative go, but I'm sure, like, while they were filming this, they're like, yeah, we should probably get everybody together, right? Yeah. That seems. <laughs> It is cool too because they do all seem to look back on it pretty fondly. Like it, even though it ended yeah. kind of abruptly or whatever, it, I guess it kind of ended on top. You know, like <laughs> they didn't really have a bad time. It seemed like, yeah. <laughs> I'm still rich and famous. <laughs> people, <laughs> people still know me. <laughs> <laughs> I love they're calling each other by their wrestling names. They did. Do, it was like four years too. It was like. A school situation. Or yeah. Something. What's up, motherfucker? Look who's fat now. That's <laughs> 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 oh, perfect. That's who they were talking about. <laughs> Look at this fat fuck. I just want everybody to call him fat. <laughs> so go down the line. Hey, you fat shit slapping him on his I'm belly. I'm going to call you every day. Guess <laughs> what I'm going to call you, fat. For the next four <laughs> years, I'm calling you every day. <laughs> as soon as you answer the phone, fat. Uh, fat. Don't you forget it. I was eating these mashed potatoes. It's made me think about your fat ass. <laughs> 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 so... Uh, <laughs> That other dude didn't show up, though, the announcer guy. Yeah, that's weird. You guys hear that? <laughs> you guys hear our neighbors? I hope you hear this music. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, it's party time now. No, chances are he's going to park right there. Yeah. 
Turn it up a little bit. Gonna have a cookout. For real, dude. <laughs> for he just real. did. Oh just man, for real. Right That's what he's gonna do right at the end of this documentary. You piece We're of financially shit. nimble people. <laughs> Walk out of here at any point. That's a good deal, so I'll stay. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's. I never really think about it until now. Well, yeah. Whenever you're like trying to wait it out for, okay, th- no, it didn't stop. He's just he's just breaking it down right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but for real, the amount of time that music was playing was ridiculous. Someone was at a gas station, and the guy had his music really loud and he pulled up and parked and left his car on so he could just blast his music and he went to the gas station but like his stereo was hooked up to his uh, phone uh, Phone. And his mom called. <laughs> it was perfect. Great, dude. It was perfect. Ah. Oh no. Everybody's about to cry. Oh, she she lasted no time. She's like, nope, the class is going <laughs> nope. on. Nope, 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 uh, nope. nope. I love this so much. Well, that's sweet as fuck. That is a kid playing a recorder (laughs) outside our window. No, they gave her the crown. That's cool. <laughs> I love you, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm in love with you. He's a real dick, that guy. <laughs> yeah, I love him. I love him. I'm absolutely in love with him. <laughs> I feel like Mount Fiji liking him is the reason why they didn't all revolt. <laughs> against. Yeah. I feel like she was the one like, nah, guys, you don't understand. He's he's really great. They're like, he won't stop calling us fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how he came off. That's how. <laughs> yeah. That that was. We understand who he is. Yeah, he's not a, a Mark Maron's kind of encapsulated. <laughs> yeah. This fucking this dude though. Fucking scared to talk about it. What's up with him? Thank you. 
Yeah. Is there a crazier four-year period of your life? Than <laughs> <laughs> what else did you do, Big Bad Mama? <laughs> it ranks right up there with <laughs> one of the wildest times of my life. Probably could have done a little less of that, honestly. <laughs> I wonder how many of them got the itch after this. I was like, ah, one more match. Yeah. I bet we, he's still in good shape. I bet we could do one more thing. Oh, well, how heartwarming. Just killing it. Knee rehabilitation therapy. Oh, that'd be so cool. This uh, this documentary is from 2012. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I have to look her up. I think she still has it. Well, yeah, you wouldn't get rid of that. Huh. Yep. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, and like I said, she got in the Hall of Fame maybe two or three years ago. So. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she like did. It. Oh. Yeah, kicked his ass. Survivor. Two out of three. Man. What? What is this about to become? Because it looks like private wrestling videos. (laughs) What? Was she just talking about how fat her sister is? Yeah, they're going at each other. Oh, boy. <laughs> Very catty. Stay on the business. Oh, all right. That's a good job. Yeah. I bought a pool. <laughs> okay. 
So you're like a Christian lady now? Yeah. She got herself a bedazzled pair of jeans. <laughs> yes. Still got it. All right. What you doing now, Egypt? Real estate agent. All right. Retired? Look at you. Very successful. Not looking bad at retirement either, Egypt. Not me. You terrify me. <laughs> Gonna die in a bar fight. <laughs> oh, that's the perfect way for her to go out. <laughs> I'll back down. All right. All right. Gotta go. <laughs> okay. Fade out. 20 years. Yeah, she kept going. Damn, that's impressive. Yeah, she was wrestling before and after, so. Yeah, she said the thing. She went till 50, so. That's crazy. Yeah, I like that one. That one was one of my favorites. I actually, did, I actually didn't hate that. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> I love that their sketches are like surrounded around joke books. Yeah, the the jacket looks fine. <laughs> Everything looks great, guys. Yeah. All right, well, that's that's the word, baby bird. That's the word, baby bird. Yes, it is. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. That was just a fun, heartwarming uh episode about the gorgeous ladies of wrestling it's so, a good one for you guys yeah check it uh, ca- catch you next time bye, bye. bye.